Hi Pisces, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with uh, someone else in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and uh, share this video to support this channel. Alright Pisces, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups and uh, the Lovers. We have the Four of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Moon. And we also have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini or uh, a fellow Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or not a Pisces. So what's going on Pisces? It's like... You make a perfect couple, you're a perfect love couple, you know, the two of you are two lovebirds, but uh, at least one of you is suffering, suffering in silence. Um, but for some of you, both of you are suffering, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, we got the King and the Queen of Cups, that's the ultimate love couple, you know, the two of you belong together, the two of you finish each other's sentences, the two of you have so much in common, you speak the same love language, you know, there is definitely not a mismatch when it comes to the two of you uh, be feeling love towards each other, both of you do feel the same way towards each other, but the problem is um, either something didn't go, didn't go right, something went wrong at some point in the past, or both of you basically need to open up your mouths and talk to each other. <laughs> Right, so the first card I came out is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who is crying themselves to sleep, somebody who is uh, stressed out, depressed, got anxieties. And I think it's the energy of the person you're dealing with. For the reading's sake, um, Pisces, I'll assume you are the Queen of Cups, right? So, and the King of Cups, the person coming towards you. So that's the energy of this uh, Kings of Cups right now. They can't sleep at night, they're feeling horrible. Um, Perhaps they have a fear of rejection or perhaps they made the wrong choice at some point in the past and now they regret it but uh, they do want to come towards you. Um, whatever is happening right now, like I said, this person is just going crazy, right? Um, and then we also have you, the Queen of Cups, right next to the deck, clarified by the Moon. What's interesting is that both the Queen of Cups and the Moon are Pisces cards, right? The Moon is uh, your personal a major arcana card, then the Queen of Cups is also usually uh, a water sign indicator. Right, so as I was clarifying the Queen of Cups, however, I asked how does the Queen of Cups, how does Pisces feel about this whole situation and the Moon came out, right? So that could be interpreted in two different ways, perhaps you feel in your own element, perhaps you feel like you're the one in charge of the situation, right? You're feeling great, or, if we want to stay general, then the moon is all about also feeling sad, feeling fears, feeling anxieties, you know, the moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck. So, like I said in the beginning, for some of you, both of you are suffering. Or, at least this person, this king of cups, is suffering and uh, you're in your own element, right? So, yeah, this person is getting ready to move towards you, right? Because the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. The Knight of Cups is still a water sign <laughs> indicator. But again, if we want to stay general, then the Knight of Cups is all about genuine and authentic love offer. So whatever this person did or didn't do, they're gonna uh, express their love to you nevertheless. The Lovers clarifying the Knight of Cups, it could be a uh, Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is also a card of a choice, right? So they could be finally choosing to grow a pair and move towards you. Or perhaps they made their own choice in the past and they regret it and that's why they're going crazy right now. But they want to fix it, they want to, you know, move towards you and express their love to you nevertheless. The Lovers is also a card of a soulmate connection. The Lovers is also a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the lover of uh, someone's life, you know. So they, I don't know what's going on exactly in this situation but they are almost desperate, you know, They're, they really want you. The four of wands in the middle is a card of a committed relationship or marriage. It's also often called the 11-11 card and I really like the fact that this card is here 
Pisces, uh, that's what they want with you, no matter what the situation, no matter what happened between the two of you in the past, if it did. But now they do uh, want to commit to you, they do want to marry you. Right, so yeah, an interesting spread. There's so much love and uh, a lot of emotions at the same time. All kinds of emotions. Love, fears, anxieties. Uh, wanting to be with you, it's just crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we're moving on to spread number two. Spread number two is the potential between you and this person. Alright, Pisces, so here's spread number two. This is the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the first spread. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Lovers. We have the Chariot, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the uh, Ten of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Uh, this is a general reading, and uh, yeah, the answer is oh yes. <laughs> we got three forward movement cards. Three. And a commitment card. And a proposal. Right, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is that proposal card, but it also usually symbolizes a forward movement, right? So it's like all systems go, um, if you want it, and I think you do. Both of you want it, it's just that the two of you need to talk, the two of you need to get on the same page, they need or get back together, um, apologize, all, all depends on your personal uh, situation. So yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is a proposal. You know, this ace often does come through as a proposal, and it usually uh, the energy of a person who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a family, right? This is a very serious ace. To me personally, the ace of pentacles is the ace of all aces. I don't mean to belittle any other aces, but it's like uh, this ace is like a package, a bundle, all aces combined into one. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We saw the Lovers card in the first spread. <clears throat> the Lovers is also a choice, right? The Lovers is also a card of a soulmate connection and a twin flame connection, if you believe that, in, in twin flames. And uh, the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. All right? <laughs> uh, the Fool on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of uh, taking a leap of faith. <clears throat> so I think that's what both of you could be doing. If the two of you do take that leap of faith, do take that risk, or do wipe the slate clean if this is your ex, you know, it's uh, the sky is the limit for you, for the two of you. Right? Uh, we have the chariot in the middle. The chariot is the personal cancer card. You could be dealing with a cancer. The chariot is also a card of victory. It's a card of success. It's a card of feeling great. And it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. It's uh, one of the fastest cards in the deck. Uh, some sort of travel could be involved for the two of you. Perhaps the two of you will go travel together, or you could be moving in together or relocating, right? One of you could be relocating, or both of you could be moving, moving in together. But again, the chair is a, a very fast card, and it's a card of uh, moving forward and not looking back. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a pretty speedy card as well. It, it is also a card of travel, but in general, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of starting a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle between the two of you. And it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the commitment or marriage cards. It's a very solid, very grounded, very stable, very long-term type of a deal with that Ten of Pentacles. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. So yeah, the potential is amazing. If you want to just extend your hand and take it, it's there for, it's there for you. <laughs> All right, it's not a question of if it's a question on whether you want it or not and uh, in the first spread we saw you the queen of cups clarified by um, the moon so yeah you're definitely in charge you're definitely in your element right and we did see that person feeling almost desperate about the situation right and um, yeah yeah I think I think you can make it work you can make it happen we got quite a few major arcana cards on the table quite a few well, they are all amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together. Like I said, it's all about moving forward with this spread. So hopefully the two of you can figure it out and actually move forward together. Alright, so that's what I got for you Pisces for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing February. And there you have it. 
I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.